Hey yo, what's up? Snoke2 here. It's been a while since I posted my last video, but I thought I'd take some time and show a few books. Hope everyone is doing well. I know it's been quite a bit since my last video. Hope the glare is not too bad. <clears throat> um, let's just get started. So I've purchased a number of slabs since my last uh, video, and this is one I just got probably within the last few weeks of it's always been on my watch list to find one and um, uh, wanted it for some time. Booster Gold number one for experience of Booster Gold. Um, I think I made a deal with the seller. I bought two slabs at once and so he gave me combined postage or actually, yeah, I think he pay, I paid for postage for one and he shipped the other one for free in the same box and then uh, got a little bit of discount so i think all in um for boost gold number one 9.6 i paid a little bit over 110 dollars which i didn't think was a bad price if you uh follow how much they go for for again for um 110 dollars wasn't bad uh the other book that i got with that which i've wanted for some time I'm glad I waited, actually. I was at a store in uh, Pittsburgh that had this book, um, Slab, for $300. 9.8, Wonder Woman, 600, Adam Hughes cover. Um, you know, this book has come down quite a bit over the last few years. Uh, $300 is actually down from where it was you know, probably about COVID time. It was going for about $400. And 300 bucks was, you know, still a little high, I thought. I asked the guy if he would take a little bit off more. Uh, he said no, that he had just reduced the price from 400 to 300 And so I passed. Uh, on the internet, it was going for anywhere between 250 to um, 279 something like that. And so I walked away, and um, and actually I think his was even a 9.6. Uh, this came up, uh, the same seller, I bought this for, I believe he accepted 225. So I got this one and that one for um, combined shipping um, plus a discount on both books. So... I was really happy to get those two books for that price. Another book that I've wanted for some time. I have a raw copy of this, but not a uh, graded copy. My raw copy was only VF. Um, and I don't think I had the Terry Dotson variant. And that's the first appearance of Lady Bullseye 9.6. I got a pretty good deal on that. Um, I paid less than $100 for that uh, for 9.6. I actually think the price, you know, for a graded book costs about $35 to get graded. I think, you know, all in all, I paid, you know, 20 bucks for the book itself plus taxes. You know, what I thought was interesting is that this is a 9.6 and um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there are quite a few spine ticks that don't break color in there for 9.6. I was surprised that it got that grade. I was real happy to get that book. Um, I got this for under $50, uh, which I thought was a good price for a graded book, 9.8. Uh, I have this book. Actually, I have a number of copies of this book, uh, Raw. But for 9.8, uh, Barbed Wire number 5, uh, Adam Hughes cover variant, uh, I thought for under $50, it was a great price. I'm happy to get that. This book here, I was really excited to get. This was probably just after COVID, and um, I actually was shocked that the seller took the took it said best offer. And you know, this is a you know usually about six seven hundred dollar book. Um, and so I made him an offer. Of five hundred dollars, I didn't actually think he accepted because I didn't get a notice from eBay that he was accepting or anything. And then the next time I noticed, uh, notice I got was that the book was shipped. And so the seller 
sent this for $500, uh, emailed him and thanked him for the price. And he said, well, uh, he said, I got lucky because he had some bills that he had to pay. He was a shop owner. So um, he needed to pay some bills and, and his, uh, his situation made my situation better at 9.8 for 500 bucks. Uh, really gets down on a number of uh, Adam Hughes covers that I'm still waiting on. There are a few that are like sketchbooks and stuff that are, are uh, that are just ghosts to find or kind of high for what they are. Um, and then um, Teen Titans number 75 is the last Adam Hughes big book that I really want. Uh, and Pop Kills, which was a Kickstarter I didn't know about at the time. Um, that I'm still trying to get. Uh, that's probably a four hundred dollar book. I may go ahead and pull that trigger at some point. I got this for under fifty dollars, which I thought was a great deal. Uh, Josh Middleton, Supergirl number fifty. I mean, raw. This book is kind of expensive as it is. Hard to find. It was a one in ten ratio um, of the jo uh, Josh Middleton covers for Supergirl. This is the one that's. The most valuable uh, pricing, I guess you could say. Um, always missing in back issues uh, when I look. I found one once um, at a shop that I got for like... It's kind of a stealth buy. I think I got it for like three bucks cover price, which was a great deal. Uh, but um, again, a 9.6 uh, Josh Middleton, 1 in 10 for under 50 bucks. I thought it was a great deal. Yeah, there are deals to be had on eBay. Um, this is my second copy, but my first graded copy of Bad Girl Homage number 40 to Purple Rain 9.6. Now, and it was a buy it now. Um, actually, I think my raw copy is actually in better sh condition than this, better grade than this comic here. You can see there's a couple of spine ticks again and a black cover. It doesn't break color, but it got a 9.6, which I'm sure the seller was ecstatic for. Because <laughs> if he got 9.6, I think my raw copy would get a 9.8. But um, but either way, um, I paid less than $100 for that book, which I thought was a great deal. I think my ungraded raw copy I have, I, I paid $50, which I thought was a great deal. Um, and then I got this book here, which is a Jenny Frizen variant homage, Bad Girl number 23. I just got this in the mail a few days ago, uh, which I saw. And um, I can't remember what I paid for this. I think I paid under 50, maybe $50, 60 bucks, maybe. No, it wasn't even 60 bucks. It was, it was about $50. I have to look and see now. Um, cause there's raw copies going for, uh, 60, a signed one for 65, uh, raw copies for 35. I think I paid maybe about 50 bucks for that, uh, graded, which I thought was a decent, decent price. I love that cover, the Josh Middleton cover. I'll have to pull them both out and sit them side by side to see which I like better. I mean, this is a beautiful cover by Jenny Frizen. Love Jenny Frizen. Um, uh, what else is there to say? Uh, DC just making uh, reprints. This is a Bird City Comics variant cover reprint. Very happy to have that comic too. I think I have some more slabs somewhere, but I don't know where they are right now. So let's just get started with some other books here. Oh, here's a book I just got in the mail yesterday. Um... Hack and Slash, number one, Jenny's Frizen. That's a really hard comic to go, come by. Uh, I don't know if you guys are aware of that. Um, to find that, I did buy that on eBay. I think um, I paid 60 bucks for that book. That's a hard book to find in high grade. Uh, I think I paid, I think Glare Monster there. Um, let me see if I can get the glare off. Maybe that's better. It's a beautiful cover um, by Jenny Frizen. Happy to have that. I, I, I've tried and tried to find that. Any Jenny Frizen hack and slash, 
uh, you just cannot find in back issues. Um, now these books here I got for a dollar and I was really surprised. These are in high grade, near mint, uh, G.I. Joe number 48, which is the first appearance of Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, I have that, uh, originally when it came out, I, I collected G.I. Joe. Uh, that's a, I think it's kind of an undervalued book. Um, first appearance of Sergeant Slaughter. Um, great cover by Mike Zek. This here is a book that's not really talked about that often, but it, it does have a, quite a few first appearances. G.I. Joe number 44. I got this for a dollar. Uh, it's in near mint minus. There's like one spine tick here, but otherwise it's a pretty short co cover uh, copy. Um, and for a dollar, what can you say? I mean, it has the first appearance of Mindbender. Um, who else is in there? First appearance of uh, uh, Bazooka, uh, Airtight, Heavy Metal, and Crankcase. Now, what's funny is they had that terrible cover, which has the first appearance of Lady Jane. I think it was G.I. Joe 32, and they wanted $10, but this for a dollar. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I did get this online. This is my second copy of Beauty, number one, Jenny Frizen cover. Early work of Jenny Frizen. Beautiful cover. Um, I think I paid 40 bucks for that comic online near mint now i found two copies of these which was a steal uh particularly if you saw x-men 97 which is great actually was a pretty good cartoon actually i haven't finished watching them on episode eight i believe or seven and this is uncanny x-men 274 where magneto and rogue um get busy newsstand and direct copy i got those each for a dollar uh, this is from a dollar sale over Memorial Day weekend. Um, Marvel Comics presents 117. Venom, it's always worth more than a dollar. I did pay $2 for this book, which I thought was still a great deal for this classic Brian Bowen cover. Um, Joker cover. I think it's my third or fourth copy. Um, I paid five bucks for this, which I thought was worth it. I mean, this is a really high grade near mint copy. This is my second copy, ROM number 31, the second appearance of Rogue, first cover appearance of Rogue. Uh, I think that's probably in that condition, 10 to 15 dollar book. Then for five dollars, it was a great deal. Um, Marvel Tales featuring Spider Man, Todd McFarlane cover. Uh, looks like there might be a subscription crease down the middle, which doesn't bother me any. Uh, for I think I may have got that for a dollar. Um, but I didn't have that Todd McFarlane cover of Marvel Tales, and I thought it was a great deal. So, hey, what are you going to do? Now, I did get these. These have cooled down quite a bit. I mean, these are from, uh, what year is that? 2013, I think. This is uh, New Avengers number nine, which is the first appearance of Black Order. Really high grade near mint copy for a dollar. Um, number 10. Actually, I paid 50 cents for these. These are 50 cents. Number nine, number 10, and two copies of number 11. So that's the first appearance of Thane, um, Thanos' son, and then um, number 11, which is also his. First full appearance, I believe. I think number not, 10 is his first cameo appearance. Um, but they still consider that his first appearance. And then number 11 is full appearance. But for 50 cent a piece, what do you, you know, you're not going to leave them there. Um, this I just got yesterday. I went to a comic shop and this was on the wall for 20 bucks. X-Men Origins number one shot. Gambit, pink cover. Love the cover. Near Mint, uh, definitely worth 20 bucks all day long. Um, this is a variant for um, Ghost Spider number 8, a Peach Momoko cover variant uh, from a comic store called the Comic Mint. Um, and I paid 20 bucks for that. I like that cover. A lot, Peach Momoko is kind of grown um, tired on me, so I don't get a lot of her covers anymore. I think she's been overdone and so um certain ones i'll get and this is one that i thought was well done by her i 
Right. Put that up there for you to look at. Now these I got. <clears throat> You know, Adam Hughes, you know, as many of you know who watch the channel, is my favorite artist. Uh, Hammer and Gods, I did not have that book. You know, it was number three. And uh, with shipping, I paid, uh, I think, maybe seven bucks for that, which I thought was a great deal. It's in near mint minus condition. Got this for a dollar, Witchblade number 86. I got a boatload of copies of that. And let's see here. Got that for a dollar. I thought this was a stealth buy. This is Witchblade number 87, which I was missing. And um, it's an Adam Hughes cover. So now with that issue there, I now do believe I have all of the Adam Hughes covers for two to our uh, witchblade and i'm almost sure i've got all of the tomb raider covers now i may be missing one or two i'll have to go back and check now this book here i've looked for it got popular only for the cover um this was in really high grade near mint you know i've covered up a little pasty for her uh but torchy number one uh great Great cover uh, for all the right reasons. I paid 40 bucks for that comic, which I thought was a good deal, uh, particularly in the high grade that it is. I mean, the ones that are listed down online, there's a few graded that go in for hundreds of dollars, and then there's a few that are 40 to $60 that are not in as high grade as this comic here. So, um, She-Hulk, number three. The alleged first appearance of, uh, what's that guy's name? Bobby Bailey Briggs, uh, supposedly Spider Boy. I don't know, maybe. Um, I thought this was worth, don't ignore the sticker, $2. I paid a 50 cent for that book. A Silver Age Classics reprint of the Green Arrow, Greenland Green Arrow for, I think it's number 76. Great book. I don't have the original. Got this for 50 cent, which I thought was a steal. I mean, this is Web of Spider-Man 118, second print for 50 cent. First appearance of Ben Riley, um, Scarlet Spider, a great book. Uh, one of the later issues of Amazing Spider-Man 395. I don't believe I had that, so I picked it up for 50 cent. This was a steal for uh, 50 cent. Classic Jim Lee cover, X-Men number 11. Um, found these at, uh, oh, these are just thrown in here. These are cover price books. Uh, Jenny Frizen reprint, Red Sonja number 13. And these were still on the uh, new comic list. So these were all cover price. Thrawn Alliances number one. Got two copies of that and number two. I haven't read that, but I like Admiral Thrawn. Um, speaking of which, hey, look at this. Oh, look at that. Okay. Redo of the uh, action figure. Great action figure, too, actually. Great action figure. But, <clears throat> anyway... Got this for 50 cent, Buffy, uh, Stephanie Hahn cover, a great cover. Now I did pay for this, I, this was uh, actually I got from Canada, an online seller from Canada, Immortal Iron Fist number 17, the variant, um, logo cover. I've looked and looked and looked for that. Could not find that in high grade. This is uh, definitely in a near mint. They're a uh, really high grade cover. Um, I paid, uh, what did I pay for this? Let's see, on the late, it looks like there's some kind of dent in the cover. That's just a bag. Um, but that's in very high grade. And I paid, um, 
I want to say $87 was shipping. Because it was coming from Canada, the shipping was a little high. Um, these were also some new comics. Um, I just have them in the pile. Doom number one, two copies of that. Um, Gun Honey, um, Adam Hughes, Virgin, and the uh, regular trade. Hold on. Oh, man, my dog wants to go out. I may have to finish this later. Uh, dollar cover, Wonder Woman number 99, Brian Boland cover, uh, 141. Adam Hughes cover, got a number of copies of that. Um, I think I paid four or five bucks for that. Same for this one here, 159, four bucks. I think they're worth it. 165, have that. Uh, 166. I got these. I paid six bucks each for these, but they were in really high grade, so I went ahead and bought them. Um, to find these in back issues anymore, the Adam Hughes, you just don't see them anymore. So 166 and 167 for six bucks a piece. Um, 174. That was four bucks. Now, these next two comics I got from a Facebook sale, which I usually don't do anymore. Um, I tried it out. The guy had him. And actually, I think this was Facebook. Four bucks. And this was Facebook. Two bucks. And this was Facebook. Uh, actually, four bucks, four bucks, and four bucks. They were all four bucks. And I think I got another one somewhere from them. But, <clears throat> but anyway... The seller was just flipping books, and he didn't see these. He didn't inspect these two books. They're, they weren't even worth a dollar. Maybe they're worth a dollar. They're, they look like they're in high grade, but on the back, the comic shop put a ink stamp on it, labeling the comic shop. I don't know what kind of comic shop is that hung up that they put their ink stamp on their dollar books, but the guy bought it for a dollar and flipped it for four bucks. Uh, I told him, you know, hey... You know, these were dollar books for the reason I just said, and uh, he apologized. I, You know, I, I didn't ask for a refund because they were just $4. I told him if I ever bought from him again, you know, treat me right. So he said, absolutely. So I'm fine with that. I'm not going to quibble over, you know, because honestly, even if I knew there was ink stamp, I would still have bought them for 2 or 3 bucks. I don't know if I would have paid 4 bucks, but they, they're hard to find in a while. So uh, I didn't have number 3. But I did have number two. Uh, this was a dollar. The Secret Variant of Doctor Strange number one. Um, I don't know why I get this book all the time. It was a dollar. Um, but it's the first Venomized Carnage. Got these for a dollar each. Um, Marvel Comics Presents with the Venom 120 and 122. Got these because they were just in high grade, and I mean these are near mint, no spine ticks at all. Two fourteen Avengers for a dollar. That was worth it. Uh, same for this Josh Middleton Supergirl number forty eight for a dollar. I didn't know if I had this variant or not, but it was a dollar, so I got it. And then these books here I got because they were in high grade. These were fifty cent Fantastic Four annual fifteen. 14, two copies of that, new stand and direct for 14. For two bucks, first appearance of Dragon Bear, 50 cent. They're still, I'm surprised they don't go for more. For Justice League 34, anytime I find them in high grade, I still pick them up. Adam Hughes, classic cover, the best cover he did for Justice League of America. He did, you know, a lot of coverage for him, but this is the only one that, I see you, I get. Um, I used to get the dark side, or no, what was his name? Uh, Destro one, where the first appearance of Sonic the Hedgehog. But I have so many of those, I stopped buying them. So I think I'm going to have to end there. My dog wants to go out and use the restroom, so I'm going to let her out. But I got way more books to present and show. But we'll catch up next time. Appreciate you watching. Take care. Peace.